one, and go from here to here. Don't move down here because you can't um, compare the low sounds from side to side and compare the sounds. So we're up here. So there's one, one, two, two, three, three, come down around here, four, four, and then finally down low. And we get them all here, five and five. And then you can do the side, the lateral ones, either from the posterior or from the uh, anterior, depending. You can listen back here on the side. Or go ahead and turn around. When you come around here, I listen up high again because your lungs come way up here. So when you <clears throat> inhale, your lungs expand above your uh, collarbone here. And they kind of come up in here. So you want to listen up high, up here, come down in between again, here and here here, and a three, and then finally four here, and then finally our two lateral ones here, uh, up here high, then down, and listen to it, but alternate, you know, here, 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 and here. And that gives you a full, thorough lung auscultation, bilateral. Because if you lift, if I listen, think about it, if I listen right here, and I listen right here, and then I turn around and I come to their back and I listen up here, and I listen up here, and I stop here. What have I listened to? Upper, upper low lobes. here, and I've lift, listened to the uh, left upper lobe here. And the way that the posterior lip, or the lower lobe is on the back, you may even miss that, and all you're listening to is the upper lobe there. So at a minimum, at a minimum, you need to listen here, 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 and here, here. That's three on the front. And you're gonna get all of those lobes here. Because you see the way this one segments in, and it truly does segment in like that. You may miss that if you don't put your stethoscope in this area here. Um, but to be thorough, at least the six places on the front and at least four places on the back. Because you, you may miss this one as well if you don't get at least the four spots in the back. Okay? And that's to be thorough. And then to finish that off while you're listening here, and you've listened to your heart then. Oh, well, let's show you that here. When we come down, uh, second intercostal space, I want to lif listen to the right sternal border. And I want to come across, I want to listen to the left sternal border. I want to go ahead and wet, slide it down, kind of halfway in between here. And that's the left lower sternal border. Then at the apex, which is typically roughly, and especially on people that are so young, is mid, mm -hmm. mid uh, uh, clavicular here. And probably right in here, probably right along the nipple line, just underneath them. And that's usually where you can find that point of maximal um, your PMI. And to feel that, you can sit there and feel, not on everybody, you can have them lean forward and you can actually feel their heart with your fingertips beating through their chest, okay? Not on everybody, especially if they're really thick, you may not feel that, but on thin people, you can find it very easy. But if you think about how the heart sits in here, if that heart gets enlarged, it kind of tilts it. So you may find that PMI way over here, almost up into their axillary region here. So you gotta listen for that. But typically you just come down here at the apex and I'm listening there, okay? And then I can have them lean forward and I listen to it then because that will intensify the sounds that you hear, okay? Um, and then you could, if you wanted to, um, in the field probably not so much, you can roll them onto their left side and that will bring that heart down like this. And once again, then you sit over here and listen in, to, in that axillary region and you can hear um, uh, good sounds that way as well. But what I would say for you guys, minimal when you're listening to the heart, and you should, you should hear, and it should go love dub. We got some sounds over here that you're gonna hear normal heart sounds and then um, adventitious lung sound, or uh, heart sounds where you can get uh, um, clicks, murmurs, gallops, and different things like that. But at a minimum, I would listen on the right sternal border, left sternal border, come down here to the lower left sternal border, and then finally the apex of the heart. Those are the places I would listen. And you're gonna catch most things. Are you gonna be 100% at catching everything? Not for a long time, okay? Nobody is for a long time. It takes practice to listen for those sounds, okay? And that's minimally. We're going to have you guys practice taking or listening, auscultating lung sounds and listening to heart sounds. After you hear them, I want you to go around the room and check everybody's heart listening in different spots. 
and see what you hear. i would venture to guess everybody in here is going to be one.